Hello, everyone. Dr. Novocaine is in the house, and the prescription today is the cure for what has been a long period of oversight on my part. See, this is Mega Man for the Game Boy, also known as Rockman World. Um, now, for a long time, here, let me start. What's up, man? For a long time, uh, my experience with Mega Man was pretty almost exclusively the Game Boy Mega Man series. Come on. And it was that because I actually owned Mega Man 4 and 5 for the Game Boy long before I ever owned a, uh, an NES Mega Man game. The first one I got of that was the, uh, uh, it was the very first one, which gave me un untold amounts of hell. Wow, that does not sound anything like the Extra Life sound. Anyway, uh, so yeah, for a long time, all I really ever had of Mega Man was 4 and 5. Uh, so that was basically how I knew Mega Man, was by the Game Boy games. Uh, 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 let me... <laughs> stop hitting me so that I can finish my story! Anyway, obviously I knew that there was more... Obviously I knew that there were Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 for the Game Boy, but... I, uh, I never actually ever even looked for, uh, for them or tried to play them. And so, knowing completely nothing about the games except that they are loosely based off of the, uh, off of the NES originals, and in some cases a little more than loosely. I mean, the bosses are pretty... The bosses are pretty much the original bosses. I think it's high time... I figured it was high time for me to actually have this experience. Ah. And clearly, I'm doing a fantastic job of experiencing it. So, obviously we got no charge shot, we got no slide. We got... The screen is smaller, so Mega Man jumps, see, jumps a little higher in relative terms than I'm used to, but... I'm not completely unused to it because I've been playing the ones that I have played. This, however, is a blind run. I have not seen... I've seen basically about uh, half a second of footage of the game, so I know nothing about it other than the basic principle, so... You get to see me experience it in... as if... I've never seen it before, which I haven't. Of course, that doesn't mean I have to play terribly like I have been, but... <laughs> um, Mega Man 1 has uh, some... <laughs> this is definitely Cut Man's music, but it's a little bit on the... Uh, uh, it's a little bit on the remixed side. Ow! Well, that didn't go well. Okay, Sniper Joe. I... Wow. Okay, you can't destroy that. Ah. 
This is not going well. At least they hit a midpoint. Alright. Okay, you don't do too much damage. Ooh. Ah. I think it's... I think here I just need the tank hits to move on. I can't even damage it until it's in its jump mode. Wow. Very... The Game Boy Mega Man games are interesting. Um, I mean, most of the content is... A lot of the content is recycled. But, uh, there also is some, there also is some unique content that was never seen in, uh, the NES versions. Ow. I keep forgetting I can't slide. Okay. I don't think this is going to go very well, but I'm going to try anyway. Oh. And that's a game over. Continue, of course. So, since I'm continuing, I'll keep... Even though you've seen all this before, I'm going to keep talking and probably not speed this up because... Because I can. Anyway. The Game Boy games, like I said, were saying, rather interesting. Um, again, a lot of recycled content. Very well done. Doc, you earned a gold star. A lot of recycled content, but also some unique content. There we are. And it's hard, kind of hard to place them, uh, continuity-wise. Because they're not really, I mean... Technically, I think, canonically, they're supposed to be, uh... Uh, take place in between the, uh, NES games. But, uh... It just, it seems kind of weird that they would be considered that way. They don't seem, t I don't think they, I don't think things fit as well as they would, as the, as I would like for that explanation. Uh, so, story-wise, they do not follow the, uh, they have their own stories, but, uh, I mean, it's not like story is the selling point of Mega Man anyway, so you don't really see, you don't know all that much about it. Um, anyway, the first one, this one is, well, I call it Mega Man 1, it's all, it's better known as Dr. Wily's Revenge. Dr. Wily is apparently getting revenge for something that has happened before. Um, my presumption is being beaten by Mega Man. Ah. 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 Okay. You better jump high. Ah. Big guy, just as annoying in this game as in the original. Um. Anyway, what the new content for the Game Boy games is in the Wily stages, primarily, as uh, you have not only uh, you not only have uh, new Wily stages and new Wily bosses, but also 
the Mega Man Killers. Or Mega Man Hunters, or whatever you call them. Oh, that was too close. Okay, so you'll get to see one of those in this game. Ah. Okay, good. I don't know when you'll first see him, but you'll see him eventually. You are not as predictable as you're supposed to be, Cutman. I still should be able to take him down with Buster, though. Um, as far as I know, uh, at least based on my experience with the other versions, the weakness cycles are the same in the Game Boy games as they are in the original NES versions. Ah. Oh, that was close. And I got a nice special weapon. Wow! Now that is something. Now that is something I did not expect to see. <laughs> oh, Mega Man, you're looking a little uh, unkempt there. All right. Well then, I think I will leave this off here and move on in the next video. Until then, this is Doc. I'll see you later.